My name's Liam. I'm a games programmer at Sock Monkey Studios. My name is Sarah. I'm a producer at Sock Monkey Studios. Hi, my name's Francesca. I'm a junior animator at Sock Monkey Studios. Hi, my name's Darren. And I'm a programmer at Sock Monkey. I'm Dobby Roberts. I'm head of design at Sock Monkey Studios. Hi there, my name's John Brown, and I'm the head of production at Sock Monkey. My favourite game ever is probably Skies of Arcadia on the Dreamcast. Yeah, I think it's mostly for nostalgic reasons now. I played it a lot as a teenager, but I think as well, it's just, there's something about it. It's, it's very colourful, it's very cheerful. It sort of sums up that Dreamcast era um, really nicely. And it's just a game that has a really nice theme as well, like that it really um, it has a very joyful um, atmosphere. It's all about exploration and optimism and like never giving up. I always think a person's favourite video game for me has to stand the test of time. So I always default back to Final Fantasy VII uh, Square game. It's just the, the characters, the story and even the mechanics in the game. I think they all just neatly work together in a really nice long experience. And I'll still go back to it today and play it. And that stuff like obviously graphics has moved on a lot since 97 but even now there's there's stuff in it graphically you can still appreciate for the time it came out and so yeah it's got to be Final Fantasy 7 for me. The best game that I've played so far is probably Horizon Zero Dawn. It just has a fantastic storyline. It's got some of the best gameplay I've ever played um, and yeah the, the story is just probably the best I've ever seen written in a video game. Um, but yeah for nostalgia's sake I will also say I do love Rayman and Abe's Odyssey as well. Persona 4 Golden Edition, best Vita game, best voice actor for GA, best soundtrack. Uh, Persona 5 is good, I love the reintroduction of the demon persuasion mechanics from the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games, but the characters and stories of 4 are a lot more interesting to me. If you're not aware, it's kind of a combination of dungeon crawler and social sim. Very long, like hundreds of hours. I get very sad every time I finish it, which I try to do every couple of years. 